you're not going to believe what AI is doing right now. Things like reading dreams, creating towns full of talking NPCs, even turning your DNA into music. If you think ChatGPT is impressive, wait until you see these AI experiments happening in the labs this year. These are breakthroughs that you might be hearing about sometime soon. So without wasting a second, let's dive right into it. AutoGPT in robotics. AutoGPT isn't just typing essays anymore. Researchers are looking it up to robots that can complete real world goals. Say clean a table or make a sandwich and the robot will break the task down to teach itself what to do next. These are being tested by robotic arms, drones and even mobile bots. It's like giving ChatGPT a full human body. And why you should care? Because you might soon have a foam robot that learns from your instructions. No programming needed at all. Number 2. AI Dream Reconstruction A team in Japan used MRI scans and AI image generators to reconstruct what people saw in their dreams. They are literally turning brain activity into images. It's like AI-powered dream recording, AI personalities in virtual towns. Stanford and Google built a simulated town called Smallville, where AI characters live, remember, interact, and gossip. Each one has memory, goals, and social behavior. One NPC throws a party, another invites friends. They all adjust based on past experiences. This actually really could power the next gen of NPCs in games. Or maybe even train AIs for urban simulations, emergency response, or even therapy bots. If you find this interesting, then just wait. What if I told you that AI is learning to make music from DNA or teach other AIs to reason? Which brings me to number 4, turning DNA into music. Scientists are mapping DNA sequences to musical notes and using AI to turn them into melodies. Why? Because subtle genetic patterns or mutations sound different. So researchers can detect anomalies by listening to music. It's not only cool, it's literally diagnostics through sound. You could eventually even maybe hear cancer before it even comes up. Number 5. Pseudo-Lang AI teaching itself how to reason. Language models like GPT-4 are great at generating words. But reasoning? That's where Pseudo-Lang comes in. It's a language framework that helps models break down logic, simulate thought, change and teach themselves how to think better. Instead of just basically predicting the next word, models are starting to think like software engineers with internal instructions. Number 6. AI-based self-modeling Here's a weird one. Some labs are training AI agents to understand themselves. That means they form a mental model of their own capabilities. They ask themselves questions like, what can I do? And what do I need help with? This is huge for autonomy. AIs that know their own limits are more safer, more reliable, and better at collaboration. Number 7. Simulation-based alignment AI safety is probably one of the biggest challenges, but one new approach is simulation-based alignment. Researchers are putting AIs into simulated environments where they are being rewarded for safe, helpful, and ethical behavior. They simulate dilemmas, save the cat or get the data, and train models on better decisions. And you might be thinking why this matters. Well, this could teach future AGI system how to want the right things, but before they deployed in real life. So just to wrap it all up, today you saw robots that self-learn, AI dream readers, virtual towns with social AI, music from DNA, AI teaching itself to reason, self-aware agents, and safe AI through simulation. None of these are sci-fi, they are real and they are happening right now. If you always want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you subscribe to Adunik AI because you never know, you won't believe what's coming in the next 6 months. Also, comment down below which AI experiment freed you out the most or the one that you thought was the most fascinating. I definitely want to know. Other than that, it's been your host Mars from Adunik AI and I will see you all in the next one.